this is Trevor from Frozen CPU here. Um, so, like I said, we're going to do another video of the full unboxing of this just to go ahead and, you know, give you an in-depth review about this. Uh, this is the LEPA, the Neo Illusion. What I've done already is just cut around the plastic up top here. Um, just to make it a little bit easier, uh, I haven't fully unboxed this yet to actually see what's exactly inside, but... You know, just looking from the box right now, you know, it is the RGB CPU cooler for the entire Intel series and the AM3, AM2, FM series, and the AM4 ready with the Ryzen bracket. So let's go ahead. As I said, I've already just unsliced it just to make it a little bit easier. So right, looking in here first, we do have the user's manual. Uh, let me just go ahead and show this just as easy how to install the mounting bracket for it. It comes with everything. It comes with the CPU cooler, a fan with the bracket, the entire back plate for it, um, the washers, position screws, standoffs, Intel mounting plate, AMD, the mounting plate screws, spring screws, insulating pan, uh, the LGA 2011 pressure mounting plate, thermal grease, LED controller, the speed reduction adapter, the Molex adapter. So that is everything. It just shows you exactly how to mount it for the Intel 20 LA 11 or Intel LGA 2011 for the AMD. And it just has the, you know, just every single steps along with the LED controller, how to use that and the speed reduction adapter. Go ahead and set that off to the side really quick. And pulling this guy out. We do have the CPU cooler that is a very nice fan shroud that it has on there. Go ahead and brighten this up a little bit. There we go. Um, so yeah, it is on the push configuration right now, just pushing straight through there. On this side, we do have the fan cable, the standard three-pin header on that. Actually, it's the four-pin PWM, sorry about that. And on this side, we do have a two-pin, or it's a three-pin header with only two pins going toward it for the ground and positive for that. And if you look closely on the inside, you can see the circuit board for the LEDs, and that does go to both sides. It does have a nice white, it looks like acrylic on there. It could be wrong, it could be just plastic, but it does look like acrylic on there for the white part that's for the, where the LEDs will shine through. Go ahead, this is the, looks like the two pin adapter for the uh, LED system right there. Let me go ahead and look. Yeah, there is an IR blaster up there. If you can just see that right there, that is the LED or the IR sensor for the LEDs. Let's go ahead and get this other box out, which should be the meat and bones of everything else. There is nothing else in the box. Now for the purposes of this, I'm only going to be showing the LED for that.